Hello there, Joko Ganawan here. In this video, I'd like to present a bit about the use of the same data for EFA and CFA. I reviewed several articles in BNJ, which the authors tried to develop or modify an instrument. Unfortunately, the authors used the exact data for exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis. So, I need to reject the articles. We can't use both EFA and CFA with the same data. The reason for this is very simple. We explore factors with EFA. On the other hand, we confirm latent structure, S of the scale with CFA. So, if we try to verify the factors we discovered with EFA using the same data, CFA results will most likely give good fit indices because the same data will tend to conform to the structures of the scale which is discovered with EFA. Therefore, we have to use the different data obtained from a similar sample for CFA. Or, another solution is that you can just do EFA only. That's it, and it is acceptable. But, if you want to make a great instrument, CFA is recommended after EFA, with different data set. On the other hand, the next question is, when can you do the CFA only? If you just do a translation or cross-cultural adaptation of the instrument, CFA alone is acceptable, according to my opinion. However, EFA is suggested if you want to reduce or add one or more items in an instrument because it may or may not change the latent or construct variable. You may need to understand the term adopt, adapt, modify, and translate the instrument. Pros and cons are accepted, as long as logical or critical reasons are provided. Hope it helps. Ask me a question.